and welcome to the 25 questions book tag. I was tagged to do this by Steve Talks About Books and Stuff, so definitely go check out his channel. He does really interesting reviews of different books and also loads of author interviews and is also doing organising buddy reads and read-alongs and whatnot. You definitely need to go check out his channel because he does some really fantastic content. But yeah, so this is sort of 25 questions that are some sort of like slightly more personal stuff that allow you to sort of get to know the person who's doing it, as well as some bookish related ones. And I've had a few new subscribers recently, I've actually just hit 40 subscribers, which is incredible in my... which is it's absolutely incredible. I, you know, never imagined when I started doing this a couple of months ago that I would ever get, you know, even, you know, one subscriber. So the fact that I've got 40, I'm just like... You know, thank you to everybody who's given me shout outs and to everybody who has decided to come along and uh, watch my videos. I really, really appreciate it. It means so, so much. So yeah, so I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible because obviously 25 questions can very easily turn into a long video. So I'll try not to make it too long for you. So without any further ado, let's go. Number one is what's your channel about? So obviously books, it's booktube. I try to do reviews of different books, particularly ones that I don't think I, either for books that I have quite strong opinions about and I want to sort of just discuss that or ones that I think, you know, not enough people are doing reviews about so therefore I'm aiming to provide an objective review of it for people looking to read it. I want, I want to do some stuff, maybe some, you know, TV shows I watch and some films as well and maybe if I finally get confident in my art abilities I might start to do speed paints and stuff so yeah, I'm hoping to sort of branch out and do some other stuff but at the moment it's just, just books. Number two is how old are you? 21? I was born in 2000. Uh, number three, what's your relationship status? I'm single, but as I said, you know, I'm 21, I'm not that old. And honestly, who's got the fucking time? Because I certainly don't. Number four is, did you go to college slash what's your occupation? So I can kind of answer this in one. I am a full-time student. I'm currently in my going into my third year of studying animation. Um, and in Scotland, you do four years of that. So I've got two more years, including the year I'm about to start. And um, before that, I... Obviously I've done my two years already at university, but then before that I also did an extra year at college. So I did a sort of general foundation where we got to try out lots of different um, things. We did like a painting week and an illustration week and printmaking and screen printing and a drawing week and a sculpture week. You know, it was really good fun. And then my university course the first year was also another general, but it was a bit more vague. And then I've been doing a year of animation. And number five is where are you from or slash where do you live? So I'm from Scotland and I live in the northeast. Number six is, looking back, what would you have told your 10 year old self? I guess part of me would, would like to tell myself to start drawing earlier because, as I said, you know, I am an art student and my drawing ability, I think, is about, it's a few, a couple of years behind a lot of my peers because I didn't really start drawing seriously until basically I left school and started going to college, you know, before that it was sort of very mediocre stuff, so I just wish I had sort of had that time to sort of get, you know, just start to get my skills down earlier. Seven is tell us about your family. So I have an older sister and I have got my mum, my dad and my dad's wife. And that's just sort of my immediate family. We also have three cats and a dog. So we're two cats that live with my mum and then the cat and the dog both live with my dad. But eight is what's your favourite holiday? I think for me Christmas and Hogmanay as well is the sort of two that I, you know, obviously I, I kind of bunched them together really because obviously, you know, Hogmanay is right after Christmas. I always go to see family for Christmas and things, um, even when growing up we always made an effort to make sure that I saw both my parents on Christmas Day. And Hogmanay, my village, throws the best Kaylee for New Year's, so I just absolutely love going to that every single year. With my, with my dad and my stepmom and my sister and stuff, we always go to that every year. Number nine is, you have no budget, what is your dream vacation? Um, I don't really know because I kind of want to just travel everywhere because everywhere is just so interesting. I really want to go back to Canada, to Montreal. I've got two friends there that are actually internet friends who I have met previously and I'd just love to see them again. I'd love to go see my friend who lives in Australia. I've always wanted to go to Japan, um, especially to like the sort of light museum and especially after reading the Travelling Cat Chronicles. I really want to go to see the countryside and stuff. I think it sounds like a really interesting country. Yeah, just anywhere really. <laughs> Number 10, name your biggest pet peeves. I don't really know, I guess I don't really like when people talk down to me, which I do get a lot, especially from my family, because I'm sort of the youngest. Um, yeah, people sort of talk down to me or just, yeah, it's really irritating. <laughs> Number 11 is what book changed your life? 
don't really know. I've never really had a life-changing book as such. I guess his Dark Materials, because when I was younger, those were some of the books that really kick-started my sort of reading journey and stuff. And more recently, Starfish by Kemi Don Bowman is just a book that had a huge impact on me because I could really relate to a lot of the things that the main character was going through. And yeah, it's just such a has such a special place in my heart that book. Twelve is What Simple Invention Improved the World. Um, I liked Steve's answer for this because he said super glue and I thought that was really great. <laughs> um, I guess my answer is I'm going to be really basic and say the book. Number 13 is what's your favourite movie slash TV show? Um, I guess my favourite movie is probably How to Train Your Dragon. Um, I really really love that film. I also really love uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I think that's just such a funny concept and the film's actually quite just quite good fun. It's just, you know, the story of Pride and Pre Prejudice but in a zombie apocalypse world and it's got a fantastic cast as well and yeah I really enjoy that film. And then yeah I'm also just a big fan of like Disney films like Tangled, Mulan, um, DreamWorks, Prince of Egypt, I also really like Rise of the Guardians, like you know I love a good animated film. TV shows, I think my favourite TV show is definitely Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, I will watch that show every single year at least once I've just finished my uh, annual rewatch for it this year. Um, absolutely love that show. I also love Doctor Who. Um, I got really into that when I was younger and have just sort of kept up with it. Uh, series 4 is the best, just saying. And you know, Avatar Last Airbender, I've recently watched She-Ra as well and I really really enjoyed that. You know, again, I liked a lot of, I like a lot of animated stuff so I really like animated shows. I'm currently watching Kipo and the Age of the Wonder Beast and that's really good fun so I'm definitely going to continue with that series. It's so much fun. Number 14 is describe yourself using three fictional characters. I guess I'll go with Marion Halcombe from The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins because she's quite a uh, sort of independent woman who takes no shit and I think quite, I'd like to think I'm a bit like that. Uh, Kiko from Starfish by Kemi Don Bowman. As I said, I relate to a lot of the things she goes through, really sort of her social anxiety as well. Um, it's just really, I definitely relate to her a lot. Part of me wants to say Kaz Brecker because I too will just ignore my emotions and hope that they go away. Number 15 is what was your dream job? I mean it says was so when I was younger I wanted to be a writer um, and then up until a few years ago I was really into sort of wanting to maybe do book cover design um, and I'm still possibly thinking of that an option or maybe trying to do illustrations for that if I ever you know I'm confident enough in my, my drawing ability. At the moment um, as I said I'm doing animation and at the moment I'm just hoping to perhaps go somewhere in that direction because I do really enjoy all the stuff I've been learning so far but still haven't picked a specialism so I don't know exactly what branch but yeah fingers crossed I would love to go down that route. 16. If magic was real what spell would you learn first? I would definitely go with healing. I think just you know first being able to you know heal other people as well as yourself and things I think that would just be you know a really good place to start. Number 17 is share a favourite childhood memory. So my dad lives out in sort of the middle of fuck off nowhere and um, so our my, one of my friends lived across the field from us and we used to go in the winter when it used to snow loads so we'd all go with our sledges to this other field that had this really good hill and we'd just go sledging for like an afternoon and then actually a few years ago it used to... Um, it actually used to as well at the bottom of the hill it used to sort of collect water and then it would freeze so we'd be able to sledge and then we'd also basically be able to go ice skating as well afterwards and then we'd always go back to my friend's house and her mum made like the best waffles ever they had a waffle maker which was such a novelty to me growing up because like we didn't even have a tv or anything so you know just like all these sort of funky gadgets and stuff i was just like oh my god you can like just make waffles in a thing so yeah there was always such a treat when we went sledging and then went back to my friends for waffles and hot chocolate number 18 is what is your favorite social media platform obviously youtube i think because i spend a lot of time on here just watching other booktube videos as well as just other videos and things and i personally use instagram a lot for kind of like bookstagram and things so yeah i think those two are my favorite Number 19, if you could pick any book character to spend the day with, who would it be? I think Ellie from Alatsui, I think she sounds like a really interesting character and it would be really great fun to hang out with her and the ghost of her, her dog. Number 20, what's your spirit animal? I think a cat, because I too like to sleep all day, be warm and I'm easily distracted by shiny things on the wall. Number 22 is... nope, number 21, what old person thing do you do? I am getting a bit, oh, those gosh darn kids sometimes. Um, I like wearing cardigans a lot and I do have a very sort of rigid schedule that I like to stick to. Um, if anything, just because of like lockdown and things in the last year, 
actually having like at this time I will do this, at this time I will do that has actually kind of helped me with that. So I guess those are my sort of old people things that I do. Number 22, do you have hidden talent? Not really. My mum and my dad's wife always say that I'm really good at making like cafeteria coffee. Like I always like leave it long enough to steep in things and it always tastes nice. So I guess I'm good at making coffee apparently. Number 23, where do you see yourself in five years? I have got no fucking clue. Um, <laughs> as I said, you know, I'm at university at the moment, so that's me done for like a couple of years. But then after that, you know, if I do decide to go try and get into the animation industry, like that is ridiculously competitive. So I have no idea if I'll have made any way we're there or if I will have perhaps this idea I want to go towards book cover design as opposed to that or if maybe I give up and decide I want to be a librarian or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, no fucking clue. Number 24, share an item and tell, tell us its significance. I guess for me I'm gonna go with this fairy model because as you can see I've got a little bit of a collection and they, these are only like a few of the ones I've got. I've got like another 10 back home at my mum's. Um, and yeah, and this was the first one that I got back when I was like four or five or something and I just had her for so long and I love fairies, I love sort of, you know, magic and all that and it's sort of, she's what really kickstarted my little collection and it's really fun for me to be able to go to different places and if they've got like a sort of fairy shop or one of those kind of witchy shops I'll go in and I'll get myself a, self a fairy model and things so yeah, I guess that's definitely, um, yeah, this is, and I don't know, just because she's she's just been with me for so long, she's got a sort of, you know, a bit of super glue where uh, her wing her wing broke off because I took her to school one day and then I broke her. Um, I don't know, it's just, you know, she's been through it a bit, but she's still here and I love her very much. Room 25 is now tag some people. Um, I don't know enough people to tag, so I'm going to do the very vague thing I always do at the end of tag videos, which is if you are watching this and you want to do these questions, you have been tagged. Go do it. Yay. And let me know if you do decide to do it and I would love to watch your video and get to know you. And that's it. I think I managed to do that in not too much time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you were somewhat entertained by watching this and enjoyed maybe getting, getting to know me a little bit better. Um, if you want to give me your answers to these questions in the comments below, definitely do. I'd love to hear from you. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.